Uh, it's always special to bring back our former Miss Indianas. Uh, this group of women is the prime example of what we do and how we do what we do and what the Miss America and the Miss Indiana organizations are all about. And it is uh, such a pleasure tonight to welcome them back again for our alumni presentation. Here they are, your former Miss Indianas and Miss Indiana's outstanding teams. Let's start with our Miss Indiana's Outstanding Teen Alumni. Our first Miss Indiana 2008, also Miss America 2009, Katie Stam Erk. Aw, thank you guys. This is why I love Zionsville and I love Miss Indi Indiana Week every week. Since uh, giving up my title in January 2010, uh, once in Miss America, always Miss America, I guess, because I haven't stopped traveling. Even just this week, I have been in Ohio, Arkansas, uh, Illinois, and tomorrow I'll be in Las Vegas, Nevada. So, and I have a full-time job on top of that, uh, Vice President of Brand Awareness at a company called Australian Gold here in Indianapolis. So um, how I find time to do it all, I don't know, but I'm very excited to be celebrating my one-year wedding anniversary in about three weeks with my husband. Very excited about that. and. Always thrilled to be back home and in our home, Zionsville, for the Miss Indiana organization. I want to thank all of our sponsors for this incredible week. Everything has been as close to perfection as possible. And I cannot wait to see our next Miss Indiana crowned and then go on to compete on the Miss America stage. So thank you and God's blessings to you all. Thank you, Katie. Miss Indiana 2000, one of our judges nice. tonight, our Betsy special Bull presentation Bull. will be our Joy of Life Award. We want to welcome back to the stage our Miss Indiana 2008, Katie Stam and Mr. Jim Robbins. It is again my honor and privilege to be able to award the second annual Joy of Life Award in honor of Joy Robbins. For those of you who did not know Joy Robbins, this is, this is her husband, uh, Jim Robbins, and they both dedicated years and years to the Miss America organization through interview training, through scholarship assistance for the young women, and just some of the greatest and best supporters and cheerleaders of our Miss Indianas, as well as several other states going to the Miss America uh, pageant every single year. So, uh, unfortunately, last January, we lost Joy to breast cancer, and uh, myself, along with several young women who have uh, gotten to know Jim and Joy through this organization and just have fallen in love with them, wanted to start an award in her honor to keep her legacy alive and well and growing. Last year, we were able to award one $250 scholarship. This year, we award, are awarding two one to the teen contestant last night, who the recipient of that was Madison Seifert. She received a $500 scholarship. And tonight we are awarding a $1,000 scholarship to a Miss contestant. We were able to do that through the scholarship assistance of my company that I work for, which is New Sunshine, uh, with brands like Australian Gold, which is a sun care company. Um, they've fallen in love with Joy's legacy and are completely honored to be able to do this for them. So along with the $1,000 scholarship, the recipient will be receiving this personalized vase. And they, we had it engraved with the saying that the young women were uh, to write an essay on. That's how the recipient is chosen from the essay contest. And that saying is one of Joy's favorites. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Extremely appropriate. And they'll also be receiving a personalized keychain with the Miss America crown engraved on it and the back, the um, Joy of Life Award 2011. This year, our recipient, what we fell in love with was her heart because that best embodied what we loved about Joy. And so this year, I am so honored to present the Joy of Life Award 2011 to Miss Central, Lauren Peterson.